well beautiful people I am going to do the astrology for the week of September 9th through 15th um, these will be out on the 9th because I'm recording these Saturday evening um, because I actually went out and did something for myself and went to my friend's house woohoo but anyhow <laughs> so we're going to get started um, the first day we have Sunday the 9th here um, and there are two things happening we have the Venus in Scorpio and the new moon in Virgo excuse me so your Venus being in Scorpio this is about being very passionate um, Scorpio is a very passionate planet and it's about transformation and it is about um, intensity as well okay so that being in Virgo it means in your relationships whether it be friend relationships work relationships um, intimate relationships friend relationships I don't know if I just said that twice but those will be more intense more passionate more um, people are going to express themselves more uh, want to do more things things like that starting at the beginning of the week that is coupled with the new moon in Virgo okay so even though you're very passionate you're trying to figure out why um, getting things done you're more adamant about getting things done um, this week especially at the beginning of the week because Virgo is that analytical um, sign Okay, so it's all about best course of action, um, what seems to be the best way to do things that um, I can get the, the outcome that I want. Okay, and especially partnered with that Scorpio energy, you are very adamant about getting what you want done this week. So that's actually good energy. Now, Tuesday the 11th, we have uh, Mars in Aquarius, and this is about... Um, your skills actually so you'll notice that people will or you will have the energy of doing things differently okay um, people may do things out of sorts that you're used to you can't really um, pinpoint people's motivations as you normally would because everyone will be doing things differently um, their energy will be different um, people may not be as uh, on track as they usually are this week um, partner with that intensity that can be a little bit rough um, people may be doing things out of sorts and uh, it may not actually be in your best interest but maybe just in theirs things like that so that's something to look into or look forward to because that's going to happen <laughs> now retrograde planets uranus um, that is about financial freedom so you're still working towards your best goals when it comes to finances and career neptune um, brings in a review of your desires and the things that you want also coupled with Venus and Scorpio your direction and making things happen Pluto being in retrograde is about um, still revisiting challenges in life if you've been having issues with career or motivation I feel like you'll be having a good week this week when it comes to that motivation and the, the North Node being in retrograde is about your life direction so we're all starting new careers new relationships new ways of doing things in relationships in your careers um, to have a, a more solid plan okay so Let's pull an overall three cards and let's see what spirit has. Uh, if you're wondering about this deck, it's actually new. I just got it. It is the Tattoo, Tattoo Tarot Ink and Inspiration, I believe. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, the Five of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. 
so as like I said you're starting off the beginning of the week with a lot of passion a lot of inspiration a lot of push okay trying to make decisions you may have two different things you want to do but you definitely start in the early stages of something of making something happen and it has to do with your motivation okay um, either way seems like a good solid way for you to go but you're definitely going to choose one okay especially if you're stuck you're going to make a decision this is definitely going to help you fix things that you may have felt um, you were having issues with like going back into things that weren't working out and you're going to fix them or at least try to fix them this week so things will get better okay in turn you're going to walk into things back into things that you have had issues with as i said before to try to fix them or make them better okay um you may have walked away for a moment but this is a time where you'll revisit because you're looking at things through a different lens and like i said you're using more unconventional methods different ways of doing things to get um, a better outcome okay so here's your weekly readings hello aquarius this is your weekly reading for september 9th through 15th i hope you're doing great so let's see what spirit has for you this week aquarius okay so we have the hierophant the lovers the three of wands okay right off the back um the five the four of pen um sorry the four of wands in reverse but anyhow before we move i see you this week um talking to someone that you love okay i feel like you want them to grow you want them to have more um so your uh, what they perceive as nagging them, but I feel like you just want them to grow and you want more for them So this is your way of expressing that they just are taking it the wrong way. So ten of swords in reverse and The four of swords in reverse. Okay, so we have the temperance and we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. All right, so Okay, so um, you have a little bit of a higher opinion than you usually have this week, Aquarius. Not that that's bad, okay? Your opinion is just a little, you're a little bit more opinionated um, and you're expressing yourself a little bit more than you usually do, okay? Um, and your goal this week is to monitor that, okay? And to keep that balance and that harmony within your relationships and with your opinion, right? Because you don't want to do too much and you don't want to uh, overburden other people with your, um, I want to say righteousness, but that's a really harsh word. So we'll, we'll just keep, keep moving on, okay? So I feel like you have an idea in your head and it just feels like what is right and you're trying to express that um, in a situation that isn't uh, stable or isn't, like it's either a home situation or um, you're trying to help someone that feels like home to you. So a relationship, a friend, a family member that you really care about. OK, and it's like you're trying to guide them in the right way or express your feelings in a way that is helpful to them. Um, you are making a choice to help, um, but you're seeing that what you're doing is not really helping them. And it, and it may feel like it's unfair to them and um, you have to make a choice to go a different direction or do something different. OK, I see you're giving your advice and then you're waiting. OK, I feel like you're just going to see if they're going to catch on. You're not going to push them, um, even though you feel, you know, that what you're doing is the right thing because it has maybe worked for you or someone else in the past or it just seems like it will work better that way. OK, I do feel like towards the end of the week, you're going to get a little restless and kind of push a little bit. But um, I would caution you to do that because it's going to cause uh, a fair, bur uh, unfair burden 
okay because you feel that that certain way and you just want to get your feelings or express how you feel out but you're doing it out of love i don't feel like it's anything negative okay Yeah, I feel like um, either you feel or you feel like a partner or someone you're dealing with is being distracted from the goals that they have set for themselves and you're trying to be helpful and kind of push them on track, okay? Um, I do see that the way that you're doing it or the way that you feel is necessary is not the common opinion about how things should be done so it's really important for you to wait like say your piece and then wait okay and it cautions you to to use that temperance okay um i do see that there may be a social issue um it, there may be some friends who have told you something or co-workers or something that makes you feel this way and makes you want to push but you have to trust the situation that you're in whether that is your relationship or your work situation um, and what feels good to you and kind of wait and see what happens before you cause a shift that doesn't need to happen okay I do see that there's a loving relationship for you somewhere. Either you're in one now or one is on the horizon. There may be a little bit of a shake up or a shift right now, but it's something that you just need to wait for and don't push. This is a week of not pushing for you. Okay, you have shine, beautiful. So I see that what you're trying to do um, Aquarius is be open and you're trying to be loving and you're trying to show someone the direction and make their situation easier whether that be with you regarding you or within their situation but you kind of have to let them see their own light it's like you're a beacon that shows direction but you don't have to push that person or actually tell them what to do because I don't feel like they're going to receive it that way so that's just something for you to think about okay Aquarius so thank you so much for listening and I will see you next week. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, I have added um, email readings to the website. That link's in the description box below as well. They're a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier for me to get out. So if that's something you're interested in, that will be in there for you. Okay, so thank you so much for listening and I will see you next week. I think I just said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Love and light. Bye-bye. <laughs>